Hey, this is Chris, Keeping It Real Facts Over Fear. How are you doing today? I have a statistical insight I wanted to share with you regarding the vaccination rate. Uh, <clears throat> this is specifically about North Carolina, but I am fairly certain that it applies pretty much across the board in the United States. So if we go to the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services website, we can find that the um, the page that shows the vaccination rates, and it has it broken down in three uh, categories uh, as far as age goes, if under 17, 18 to 64, and 65 and over. Looking at the U.S. Census data, the latest census data, or projections actually, I don't know that we actually have the actual data uh, in yet, uh, approximately 23% 20 of the population in North Carolina is under 17, 63% is between the ages of 18 and 64, and 17% are the age of 65 and over. So in actual numbers, it gives us approximately 2.4 million people under the age of 17, 6.3 million people between the ages of 18 and 64, and 1.785 million people over the age of 65. The percentage of, 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 the percentage of vaccinated individuals in these groups, there are none under 17. <coughs> I know that there are the vaccine has been approved for use in 12 to 15 year olds. I don't know if they're even going to publish those numbers. They probably will though to make the vaccine numbers look better, but as of yet they have not published any numbers on that. <coughs> the percentage, of, and these are complete vaccinations. I, I didn't want to overcomplicate things and like try to go through first shot, first shot, second shot. These are completed vaccinations. 48% per, well, it's actually 48.8% of the people 18 and over. Um, and so we've got 48.8% of 18 and over, and then that's 76.9% of 65 and over. So those look like pretty impressive numbers until you realize that these two groups overlap. <coughs> so in order to find out, so what, we, what do I want to find out? I want to find out what the percentage of the 18 to 64 age group has been vaccinated. So we're going to have to break those apart. And why, how we do this is we take, well, oh, I'm sorry, let's get that back to the number vaxxed uh, so far. So that gives, and remember this is 18 and over, and this is 65 and over. Uh, I, it just would have been too complicated to, to like do two whole charts. So 3. 3.07 million people have been vaccinated 18 and over, 1.37 million uh, 65 and over have been vaccinated. Now we have to understand that these two numbers overlap because both of these categories include the 65 and over group. So what we need to do is we need to take the total number of 18 and over vaxxed and subtract the number of 65 and over vaxxed. And so then we can now we have true categories, and so now these categories line up with these numbers. And so we have, of course, zero under 17, 1.7 million, <coughs> excuse me, in the 18 to 64 group, and one, of course, still 1.37 million in the 65 and over group. That gives us our, our revised vaccination rates of zero, a mere 27%. See, that number is very misleading. It is actually only 27% of the 18 to 64 group. And of course, the number in the 65 and over group stays the same. So what, what is the conclusion? And this is, this is important as we think about what, whether we're gonna get the vaccination, as we think about the government kind of not really lying about it, but kind of making it sound like there's a lot more people vaccinated than, than there really are. And I don't know if it's just statistical laziness or if this is, was an intended thing. But there, uh, there it is on the website, and so that's the way they're presenting the information. So I felt the need to have to pick it apart. If you are in the 18 to 64 age demographic, you are not alone in your skepticism regarding these vaccines. In fact, you are in a, a significant minority. 73% of the people in the 18 to 64 age group have not been vaccinated. 
think about that for a second. That's nearly three in four have not been vaccinated. I can't speak to everyone else, but for me, it's not about the messaging. I read these articles, and it's like these government officials keep saying, well, it's just about the way we're presenting the message, and if we just tell them the right thing, they'll go ahead and do it. Or if we give them lottery tickets like they did in Ohio, they'll just go ahead and do it. To me, it's not about the messaging or lack thereof of federal, state, and local authorities. It's about the fact that this is not an FDA-approved drug, and it is not approved yet. An emergency use authorization is not the same thing as an approval. And so I will continue, and I think probably most people who, who think, and if you don't have any kind of condition that would make you more susceptible to this disease, you're going to think about that fact, and then you're going to continue to wait. Because what's the cost-benefit analysis? If you're in good health, there's almost no, there's almost no chance that you're going to die from this disease. We don't really know about the vaccine yet. If there were some statistics, because we've studied it for two or three years, like the FDA usually requires, and that would be a different story. But they haven't, and so that's why I'm going to wait. So I'm sad. So I'm going to wait until I'm satisfied that there are no proven serious side effects before I get va vaccinated. And I suspect a lot of people forgot to finish that sentence. Feel the same way. So if you feel under pressure to get a vaccine, just understand there is a great majority of people in your age, and you're between the ages of 18 and 64. There is a great number of people out there who are not getting airtime in the media, and are being portrayed as kind of foolish but it's three quarters of you. That many people, that many people thinking about something that, that's, that is a matter of life and death can't be wrong. So, hope you're encouraged by that, and I hope you will carefully consider what you do in the future regarding these vaccines. Of course, it's up to you. I would never criticize anyone for getting this vaccine. It's a personal decision. Don't let, don't let yourself be pressured by misleading statistics into doing something you might regret later. All right? All right, we'll, we appreciate uh, you watching. Leave, please leave questions and comments in the section below. Like and subscribe. We appreciate when you do. And we'll see you on the next statistically accurate video.